this together. Uh, I, it's um, I uh, after I wrote the uh, last, you know, I wanted to make a short film, and I knew it, 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 I wanted to be animation, and uh, yeah, I wanted to be hand drawn on animation because it carries such a texture, with it, such a soul. I thought it was really important for me to have. So I, why not reach out to Glenn King? I, I've never spoken to him before. I'm a massive fan of his, so why not just give him a call? I gave him a call and. Uh, came down to you know, we just talked. It wasn't even about the project necessarily, we just talked. Talked about the soulfulness of the piece, the meaning of it. And uh, that's how we connected. But I just completely just kind of called it like this. Uh, at, at Glenn's house, it was Kobe Bryant. Oh, sure, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, this is, a, a speaking of, of, besides calling Glenn and getting, and getting Glenn to work on it, John Williams was. And, and, you know, there hasn't been full orchestras in, in short films since the studio days, since the 50s and the 40s. How did, number one, you get John Williams to, to just be a fan? And how did, how did you manage to get the, the uh, L.A. Philharmonic to do this as well? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, just, I was a big fan of John. I don't know John since, like, 2008. Um, I felt like there was something to be learned from the way he composed people. And also the way he, he led the orchestra, right, the way he directed the orchestra. We had just had a tough loss in the subject of the So I needed to learn how to galvanize a group of guys, how to give clear direction. And I thought John just did something I could, be, I could learn from him the way he does it. So I've known John since 2008 because of that. And so I reached out to him and asked him if he you know, scored this letter. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard John speak like, like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby, I, I read the letter and uh, I really like it. I love it, but I'm, you know, I'm working on this this this, this Star Wars film. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, but I would love to take two weeks off, and if if you don't mind using the same orchestra. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Quick conversation. What do you tell? Yeah, well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 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 that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, I understand that he was not seen in basketball. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I mean, you're probably like, I'm the worst basketball player in the face of the earth. Yeah, yeah I can I can attest. I've seen him play. He's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It was, it was a lot of things. You know, like, uh, then it was like, listen, you could have hired the worst basketball player to animate a story about basketball. And John was like, I've never seen a basketball show. So I'm like, how did you never seen a basketball show? <laughs> you know, it's like, you're out here doing the Showtime era. It's magic. Bird is Kareem. Like, this is the whole showtime bird coming into town. You never know? Well, you know, George and Steven kept me pretty busy. I'm like, oh, man, you're off the 